Bonadia, good goddess of the earth, whose name is mystery, whose name is a hundred names, whose spirit lives in us all, and in every goddess who touches the soil, in every mortal who sprang from the clay, be with us on this day. You have made the earth spring forth with many green goods for us, not merely those which we feed our bellies, but also those which heal our bodies. Lady who heals us, grandmother of Hygieia, daughter of Thaunos who tracks in the wild, we find your gifts both in the gardens and in the wild paths where you have trodden. We see the healing herbs springing up in each of your passing footprints, and we are grateful for our lives. O Bonadia, great goddess of the earth, whose name is mystery, but whose gifts are so concrete, we revere you and ask you, bless this day, your plants which you have so generously given us, that we may also and always be healed, always help to heal with others. I want to thank you all for joining us again here at the Hermetic Heterodox Heresies. Beltane Sabbat in the Templum Viventem. I'd like to begin by once again intoning the hermeneutic hypothesis. We are the inheritors of the Gnostic current as revealed to the seventh generation of Adam Kadmon in the Enochian Covenant, a recognized people of the book, affirmed by the courts of the Abbasid Caliphate. We honor the seven Noahide laws of the righteous Gentiles and keep the golden axiom. To do good is only second. First, do no harm. We preserve and protect the dwindling light of the mysteries in the cultus near extinguished at the close of late antiquity. Our messenger is the dual god Thoth Hermes, called Hermes Trismysticus, known as Idris, honored as Enoch, who ascended is Metatron, first called Logos and son of man. We perceive Hermes Mercurius Trismysticus as the rightful heir to the Olympian throne, as prophesied by the primordial Gaia regarding the line of Titanic Metis. Likewise, we honor Metis' daughter, Pallas Athena Minerva, as Sophia to his Logos. We recognize the doctrine of metempsychosis, affirming the transmigration of souls and acknowledge the unity of all, as stated in the formula of the Emerald Tablet, as above, so below. Gefjon, hail to thee, land churner, happiness bright. May your blessings lay tilled in the field. May our industry in the days ahead reap the harvest of them. So do I ask, so do thee I hail. Brown Gefon of the plow, may I be steadfast. Green Gefon of the deals, may I be cunning. White Gefon of bells, may I dance my worries away. Mokosh, lady of the waters, ever flowing, ever changing, gentle mother, fierce protector, gift us with knowledge, bless us with strength, inspire our creativity, motivate our productivity, teach and bless us. I call out to Maya of the star-strewn skies, eldest of the Pleiades, wise daughters of Atlas who holds up the heavens, Beautiful Maya, Maya of the cypress wood, black-eyed goddess, in the dark of night Zeus came to you, to lay with you in your deep-hewn cave, well hidden in the stony soil of distant Mount Kaleni. Maya of the mountain, well honored, you were wild in Arcadia, that rugged land in which you bore your son, bright Hermes of the many gifts, gracious goddess, companion of women in their travail, friend of the mother, the child at her breast, I praise your kindness and your might. Beloved Rosmerta, blessed one, bringer of prosperity, provider of plenty, giver of gold and guardian of grain, goddess, beneficent, goddess, benevolent, friend of the deep earth, friend of wayward fortune, I honor you, I honor your might, Rosmerta. Long ago your temple stood across the land, your image carved with care in stone and cast in bronze, holder of the harvest horn, bearer of the bowl, your presence, O oh goddess, makes all places holy. Shining Rosmerta, receiver of offerings, receiver of faith, I pray to you for favor. The Kalends of Maya, the Beltane Mayday comes. 
We honor the Bonadilla, the great goddess in her many forms in this celebration. The earliest festivities we can tie to this time of year definitively were the Roman celebrations of the Floralia, honoring the goddess Flora of the growing plants and flowers, the Calends of Maya, a celebration of Mercury's mother, the Plebeian Nymph, and niece of Titanic Metis, after whom the month is named. A further women's only nocturnal rite to the great goddess Bonadilla, attested to most notoriously due to a scandal involving a male politician of some disrepute infiltrating these sacred ceremonies, resulted in his being charged with a capital crime for his actions. The interloper only escaped death by bribing the entire jury. But I digress. Despite the many claimants who make such noise about the inherent paganism of Christmas, Easter, or All Hallows' Eve, the most straightforwardly pagan celebration still widely practiced amongst the Christianized Europeans is May Day, or Beltane as it's known in the Celtic British Isles. So widely celebrated is the May Day festival that you'll find its practice from the Bulgaria to Scotland, from Portugal to Estonia. Even the Catholic Church recognizes the day as a major feast of the Virgin Mary. Hell, due to colonial intrusion, it's even celebrated in Hawaii as Lay Day. One of the four fire festivals of the Wheel of the Year, the association of the bonfires with the rekindled spring sun, burning ever brighter as we approach to summer, as well as the phallic maypole, like a ribbon festoon Shiva lingam, centering much of the modern festivals, serves to suggest a masculine side to this celebration of the divine feminine. In the studies of folklorists Robert Graves and James George Frazier, Beltane also signifies the defeat and yearly death of the Holly King in the hands of his rival, the Oak King in their cyclical battle for the hand of yet another aspect of Bonadilla, the goddess Fauna. Together, she and the Oak King will rule over the light half of the year before the Holly King, Lord of Winter Dark, is revived to return the favor as the days grow shorter and give way to cold and darkness. Sadly, this year, due to the pandemic, we cannot come together to engage in Maypole dances, share May baskets of flowers with our friends and neighbors, nor elect a May Queen or Green Jack from amongst our number. But much as the sun builds its strength now, so too do we see the rising light with the expansion of vaccinations. It has been a long, dark, desperate, and lonely time for all of us over the course of the last year and some. But as sure as dawn, like the wheel turns, we are coming into a brighter day. If all goes well, and we who can receive the vaccine do our part, it is my sincere hope we should be able to come together before we pass another one of these sabbats. Happy Beltane, my friends and may the Bonadilla bless us all. Join me now for Cakes and Ale. Let this cake remind me of the horned god, his strength being mine in the eating. Let this ale from the sacred chalice be the life-giving waters of our mother, the great goddess, her power washing into me in the drinking. By this right, we honor the sacred union, their marriage, in all that we know of this world. Amet, so mote it be. I want to thank you all for joining us today for another Sabbat celebration. It's a genuine pleasure to make these videos for you, and I hope you enjoy watching them as much as I enjoy making them. I hope this finds you all in good health, and that the Lord and Lady keep you. We'll see you again soon.